Hey guys, welcome back to the AWS Cloud Demos. My name is Murli and I'm back with another video on how to deploy our Node.js Lambda functions with a, as a container images, okay? So today we will see uh, how we're going to be building our Docker images and push into the ECR and then we will use the container images um, in our uh, Lambda function uh, for our Lambda function so that we will be able to run and test our Lambda function locally first and then we will deploy it and then we will try to test it, okay? So before we begin, um, like we always do, so we have our uh, repository here as a lambda as a node container image so you can check out this code and uh, also uh, please make sure you log into your console and i also have my code ready um so i've already set up my code here it's pretty simple file uh, docker file which has uh, which we are importing our lambda uh, node.js version 20 and then we are trying to run our uh, uh, index.js file okay so what we have in index.js file is simple hello from lambda it's a simple uh, lambda function okay to make things simple um, we'll we'll begin with this and this simple package.json file where you can add your dependencies or dev dependencies if if you need it for your lambda function but in our case we are not using any external modules so it's just a simple lambda handler okay um, so we have this in here so what we're going to do now is basically uh, for this uh, you will need to have docker installed in your local and make sure it is running okay and then we have um, also need node.js which is version 20 and uh, also make sure you have aws cli okay um all right so how are we going to be creating our docker image um so basically um we will simply run docker build platform 64 i'm going to tag this as docker image test okay um so basically what do, what we are doing is we are building a docker image um on a uh, with this architecture which is linux amd64 and then we're tagging the do docker image uh with uh, uh with test okay um so let's create a image okay that is quickly done because i've already done it in my local so that is the reason why we are we have done it so quickly so let's clear this out and then we can run our application locally okay so i'm going to simply copy paste the command that i've already used it so basically what we are trying to do is we are going to run our image uh, on the port number 9000 okay and um, so let's start okay so now that our application is running so what i'm going to do is i'm going to check if my docker function is if my uh, lambda function is working or not so for that reason so what I'm going to do is I'm, I have a curl command basically so basically what I'm trying to do is invoke that function which is running inside our docker container here right um, and here we are using curl so I'm invoking that function so you can use this uh, and this is the payload uh, you can see the empty payload here which is which does have nothing it's just an empty payload and hit enter so yeah that returns 200 uh, which is success hello from lambda so you can see our uh, expected output is here okay so now that lambda is working and we have successfully tested our lambda function from our docker image so what i'm going to do is so we will be pushing our docker image into the repository okay so how we're we gonna do it uh, basically it's nothing but uh, so let's kill this command so you can also see the logs here which is nice uh, just i'm gonna kill this Container, which is nice and then if you do docker ps if you see any running container you gotta kill it okay so now we don't have any running containers so just clear this out all right so now so how are we going to deploy it so basically uh, we will be creating our repository okay so we will be creating a repository called hello world or something like that all right and then uh, we will push that okay let's begin so basically what we're trying to do is we are going to get the login password uh, here uh, from our ECR so that we will be able to uh, push our images to our um, Elastic Container Registry, okay? So let's hit enter here. So you should be able to log in into your account. Um, yeah, login is succeeded. And now what you're gonna do is you will be creating a repository, okay? So clear this out and paste the command. So which is basically creating a repository here with the name hello world as you can see here hello world and then on the region us east one 
and also we are going to enable the scan on push and the image mutability is mutable and click hit enter so that that should create our repository and you can see the repository ARN which is successfully created and if you log in to your console just go to ECR like so repositories okay make sure you are in the correct region your sist one okay so we have our hello world here so this is our repository that we have just created all right so we have also seen the output here after we create the repository all right and then we will tag our image and then we will push our image into um, ECR okay so let me just clear this out all right and then I'm going to paste the command which will basically tag our docker image uh, and also point to our um, uh, hello world repository from our ECR okay so let's hit enter here so that is that has successfully tagged and now I'm going to push the image local image to the remote ECR okay so I'm going to paste this command which is basically I'm going to push my local image to the ECR wait for a moment so meanwhile you can hit the like button and also make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this all right so now that our image has been successfully pushed come back to your console just refresh it you should be able to see the latest uh, image all right so yes we have successfully pushed it and the size is 113 MB right um, okay so now that you have successfully created it uh, and also pushed the image so what we're going to do now is we will be um, creating our lambda function right from our console okay um, so how we will be creating is it's pretty simple all right so as you can see the lambda AWS lambda create function so we are trying to create a function and the function name is hello world as you can see here and the image is uh, the hello world latest as you as you have already seen uh, this is our repository and this is the image and I'm referencing to that particular image so that you should be able to use that image um, as a lambda function okay and now the ARN role is lambda execution uh, role so which is a role I've already created it so if you go to IAM And if you go to the roles, execution role, so if you can see here, and if you go to trust and relationships, so this is this basically, so our Lambda function basically assumes our role and uh, uh, and it has permissions to, um, uh, okay, so I need to remove this administrator access because, I, uh, because I've, I've, I've given a full access to my Lambda function, but which is not needed in your case. So you will have to explicitly allow only whatever the resources you are trying to use it okay so don't give administrative access to your lambda function okay um so that's all i'm doing here and i'm gonna hit enter so this should basically create our lambda function so you can see uh, this is the arn which means our lambda function has been created so if you go to lambda here so there's a shortcut here for me click on the shortcut that's my lambda and if you go to hello yeah, there you go that's my function all right and that's the image so you can see the image URI which is pointing to my ECR latest image okay so that is pretty simple and, uh, and now how you will invoke the function is also pretty simple um, basically we can invoke the function from our console itself lambda invoke function name is hello world and also I'm gonna give the output to this file I'm gonna store the output in this file response.json okay and hit enter okay there's something wrong um, okay let me clear this out and try to write the command again Okay.
right so you have now successfully invoked the function and um, probably i might have missed uh, there might be some typo but uh, now that you see the we are getting the response from our lambda function and also you can see the output here which is this hello from the lambda and this is our response.json okay so yeah we have successfully created our uh, um, image and pushed to the repository and then we have created a created our lambda function using our uh, container image and we are successfully seeing the uh, output and stored the output in the response.json okay so basically um, we in this video we have seen how to deploy our node.js lambda function as a container image okay i hope you have learned something and if you have learned learned something please do like the video and also please do subscribe to the channel so that you will not miss any of my videos okay um have a nice day and thank you for watching